But before that, it seems when we were locked down, many of us looked up to the night sky with a huge rise in the popularity of astrophotography. The ability to take detailed shots of stars and planets has become much more accessible in the past decade and can also be very therapeutic, as Nick Smith has been finding out. Since the dawn of humankind, we have looked to the night sky for inspiration. For many decades, capturing stunning imagery of deep space objects like this was the preserve of the likes of NASA. But now, with such advances in digital camera technology, keen stargazers like Xavier Legros from Bristol can take amazing shots of the cosmos in some of the more secluded parts of the West Country. When you take a picture, whether it be the Milky Way or a galaxy, you know, when you see it at the back of the camera, you know, that that gives you a kick and it and makes me really proud. So if I can share that and, and maybe, you know, someone is looking at that and say, oh, well, maybe I'll go out and appreciate the night sky for myself in the countryside for a night. Well, yeah, that's 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 job done, really. And he's not alone. Interest in astrophotography has soared in recent years with training courses like this one, led by professional photographer Robert Harvey from North Wiltshire, springing up all across the country. This group is on an expedition close to Weymouth on the Dorset coast to find a secluded patch of dark sky. And as the sun sets under the horizon, they prepare to bed in for the night. Budding astrophotographers know that August in the height of summer is the best time to see the Milky Way from Britain when you're facing southwards. And as the night draws in, we're hoping to see the bright core of the galaxy we call home coming in over the horizon. Digital photography has revolutionised this area and has really fired up uh, its popularity because we can do so much more. A digital camera can capture extraordinarily faint objects, things that are much too faint to see with the naked eye, and film could never have done that. But I think it's also something that's captured people's imagination. We all see the same night sky, and, uh, and I've noticed how people have made a lot of effort to go out and look at it and photograph it and share their photographs on social media, and I think it's something that's brought people together. And for those taking part, some on their very first astrophotography trip, there's a certain tranquility in staying up into the small hours, watching this celestial light show emerge above you. When I heard about it, I was really interested in giving it a try and just seeing these marvellous images and wonder how people do it and whether I can do it. It's amazing because you look out here and it's dark. You can see a few stars and whatever, but you just um, take a photograph and the, the camera just shows you this new world. All these you know, wonderful colours and patterns that you can't see with your own eyes. The fact that we can now really achieve these images and get home and start processing them and pull out the detail just makes you feel so small but also so special to be witnessing these things. These photos may show objects that are many, many light years away, but through advances in technology to capture them in images, the vast expanse of the universe feels that little bit closer to us here on planet Earth. Nick Smith, ITV News. Mm, don't get those kind of pictures with an iPhone. Do you? <laughs> no, not. They are stunning <laughs> yeah, pictures, they look though. Amazing. And the patience they must have just to wait to oh, do it. Oh, yes. And in the very early hours of the morning.